All right, today I will be showing you how to set up your Vernier Go Direct sensor cart with Vernier Graphical Analysis on your iPad. So first we are going to tap on New Experiment and we'll choose Wireless Devices. Give it a moment. And again, you wanna make sure that the device that you select matches the ID number on the physical cart that you're holding in front of you. So I will select mine. And when it does connect, you should notice that the LED light on the cart will stop blinking red and it will start blinking green. Now, before let's uh, before we start uh, talking about data collection, let's uh, talk about how we can set this up to do various things. If you go to tap the I and go to sensors, right now it's default is to just do position. So if you're doing uh, the unit three lab, all we need is position. But in unit five, um, I will ask you to select the force and the X axis acceleration. We can remove the position and that's how we would set this up for unit five. Okay, but we're doing unit three. Let's just go back and disable the other things that we don't need and make sure that it's only position. And we should be good to go. Now, you'll notice that whenever the cart rolls in the positive and negative direction, that the position at the bottom will change. So you want to make sure that when you conduct your experiment, your cart is where you want uh, your po position zero to be. And once you're happy with where your cart is located on your track or on the floor, that's when you want to zero it right there. Okay. So notice I can, if I displace it a little bit, then its initial starting point will be uh, changed. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you zero it when it's where you want to start. And then you can collect. And there you go. So that's how you set up your Vernier Go Direct sensor cart for use with the graphical analysis.